Uh, day, good day everyone, welcome back to another edition of Gov's Hero Review Videos. We are continuing in our Spring Tech series at the moment. Today looking at the 5 star legendary green hero, Hairwear, the Spring Tech heavy hitter. Uh, note that this is just the review video for the normal version of Hairwear. Check out the description of this video if you're looking for the review for the variant form. So Hairwear is available for summons from the Spring Tech Seasonal Portal, uh, which rolls around once every calendar year, uh, as is the case with each of the set the seasonal events. So even though it is only a one-off appearance though, it does uh, run for a total of a four week period and typically bridges the, mar the months of March and April, uh, which grants you a shot at two different heroes of the month. The normal version of Hairwear has been in the game for quite a long time now. It was introduced alongside Bunny Hop and Pika during the inaugural edition of the Spring Tech Portal back in April 2021. Uh, spring was the third of the seasonal portals added to the game, so we had Halloween in October 2020, Christmas uh, one in December 2020, and then the Spring Tech in March 2020. So. Uh, the family and portal was expanded once more in March 2022, um, with Coney and Lepus being added, and then in March 2023, the variants for Pika and Hairwear were added. So, uh, the portal odds themselves, if we take a quick gander at those, we can see that the odds are 0.6% chance for a non-variant uh, legendary hero, and a 1% chance for a legendary seasonal variant hero. Um, so to put that in perspective, if you were to do 100 summons in this portal, uh, you would have a 63% probability of drawing one of the variant um, heroes and a 45% probability of drawing one of the non-variant heroes. If you were to break that down and go for a specific hero, uh, you've got a 45, uh, sorry, a 39% probability of drawing a specific variant hero, such as Pika or Hairwear specifically, and then there is only an 18% probability of getting a specific non-variant uh, version at this point in time. Uh, a couple of quick notes that I will make before we go further into this review of Hairwear, um, and those notes are number one, the portal stats that we can see here are fully inclusive now of that variant bonus. Now, the only reason I'm going to highlight the non-variant uh, stats is because there is a chance that older players do not have um, the variant bonus available to them. So for me, for example, I summoned uh, Hairwear in the first iteration of, um, of Spring Tech, but then only got the variant version very recently. So my Hairwear was leveled up without those stat inclusions. So these stats are inclusive of that variant bonus. The second note is that along those similar lines, the speed that we see here, 40, is actually inaccurately displaying the effect of the charge generation bonus from the variant. I have made a separate video explaining this in depth about what the bug is and what the impact it has. The link to that should be on screen and in the description of this video, but the TLDR is that someone tried to make um, a translation of the charge generation bonus onto the speed, but this, unfortunately, the methodology, it's not how charge generation works and it's not how the speed mechanic works in the game. So the end result is that the charge speed displayed on a hero's card at the moment uh, that has a variant or an emblem bonus, bonus is inaccurately portrayed. Um, so yeah, heading over to my roster real quick and we can have a quick looky-see at his um, artwork. Uh, so I'll just have to scroll to the top. And then we can have a look at his art. So this is variant. Uh, sorry, this is Hairwear's art. Uh, he is the heavy hitter, so he is a big, chunky, chunky boy. Um, he's got the trademark or quintessential um, bunny sort of stuff going on with his his artwork, and you know he's covered in green paint because he is a green hero. So he's a bit of got that um, rabbit slash mechanoid uh, look about him. Um, whether there's a rabbit inside the suit would be really interesting. That's controlling all the movement. I don't know, but that would actually be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's his artwork. Feel free to pause it if you wish. But otherwise, let's head back to the portal and we can take a look at his family bonus. So he is, as is the case with all of these heroes, a member of the Spring Tech family, which means that he will give 5% charge to all allies whenever he casts his special skill. Uh, that 5% is increased by 2% per each unique Spring uh, Tech family member there is in the battle so a couple things to note with this number one it does have to be unique heroes it can't be two copies of hairwear it's got to be two different heroes like combining hairwear with variant pika or hairwear with bunny hop as two different examples the second thing is that it is a flat um two percent or five percent 
charge bonus. So uh, it doesn't matter what the speed of the receiving hero is, they are only going to get 2% charge uh, from the, the family bonus. The third thing is, is that it is affected by in-game charge generation modifiers. Uh, so this is things like uh, the variant bonuses, class emblems, as well as buffs and ailments. Although you are unlikely to see any noticeable impact from these increases because after all, uh, the 5% variant bonus of the 5% charge is only a 0.25% additional or two five additional charge percentages. So you're not really gonna even see it in the battle, um, most likely. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's his family bonus. Uh, in terms of his personal stats, uh, we'll have a look at what's shown first. So we can see that with the variant bonus, we have 646 attack, 727 defense, and 1,748 HP. If we remove the variant bonus, so for those hit players that don't actually have the variant, his actual base stats are 610 attack, uh, 686 defense, and 1,604 HP. So uh, a little bit lower is what his stats are, obviously, because we lose that fight, that six, six, and nine percent improvement to those stats. And there is a rather large skewing going on from his attack stat towards the defense and particularly HP stats. That is a very, very high HP stat uh, in the end. The other thing is that he uh, does have lower power. Uh, so the variant version, or the, sorry, the one with the variant bonus has got higher power. Uh, without the variant bonus, it is quite a bit lower, but the power is just a relationship of the base stats. So more power means more base stats. Um, so that's the other thing to note. Uh, his charge speed is displayed as 40 but his actual charge speed is set to 36 which is slow speed and requires 12 tiles to charge or six ghost tiles i will present these numbers based on the 40 uh, sorry the 36 charge speed because it is more accurate to what we see in battle and it's also relevant to players that don't have the variant bonus so from 36 charge speed as i said 12 tiles to charge or six ghosted tiles the speed break needs plus seven, which you can't do using speed weapons alone. Um, in green, there is only the plus six Relic Hunter Bargo, and six is less than seven, so it will not get you the speed break. However, if you do gain any charge generation bonus, either the 2% class node or the 5% variant bonus, uh, that will get you across the line when combining it with the Relic Hunter Bargo. So, the class node is relevant if you don't have the variant bonus, um, so only to people that summoned him pre-2023 or just have never leveled the variant bonus up. Um, so yeah, if you've got the variant, you don't really need the speed node at all. On the topic of his class, uh, Hairware is a member of the Assault class, which grants him the chance to wound the enemy, applying 60% of the damage done by normal damage, uh, i.e. tiles or slash attacks, over five, five turns. So the wound damage can stack with itself infinitely, so you can have two, three, four, five, six copies of it going at once. Um, it is a very powerful effect when you layer it in a high top, a high tile stacking situation, such as war machines, because if you do 4,000 damage, 60% of 4,000, sorry, 5,000 damage per tile, 60% of 5,000 is 3,000 additional damage. You do that three or four times, you're talking nine to 12,000 additional damage over five turns. So very powerful. It is also classed as bleed damage, so will trigger bleed burst from heroes like Aquani or Hatchet. Uh, by way of an emblem path, I personally recommend going an attack path for him. Um, the main reason for this is because his attack stat is very low in and of itself. So I did try to go an attack path um, for mine mostly, there, that's a little bit weird. Um, hang in a sec there, I'm gonna get another one because that path is all over the freaking shop. Um, so let's get another hero. Um, let's go Brock. We can see Brock's got a proper attacking path. So this is sort of the path that I'd be following or I would recommend following for hair wear. I will have to reset my other one because I went this side for one of mine for whatever reason. But this is the path I would say for hair wear. So we are going attack, we're picking up attack at each point that we can. Um, the more attack, the better, because it's going to ultimately improve his damage output, which we know is quite low. The argument to give him more defense stats um, or go a balanced path is also viable. Um, you can see that on mine, I did go something of a, um, a hybrid path. Um, for my one, so I did go some attack, some defense nodes, and that was sort of just to balance him out a little bit, but ultimately, this side here is the mistake. Um, so I went left on this node, it should have gone right. That's sort of the path that I would follow uh, for hair wear, ultimately. 
So yeah, feel free to pause it if you wish, but otherwise let's head back to the portal and have a look at his special skill. So his special skill is titled Compressor Blast and at level 10 skill and 36 charge speed, it will deal 165% damage to the target and nearby enemies with the damage being increased by 19% per each green tile that is on the board to a maximum of 152% additional damage. Uh, it will then apply a two-turn silence to the target and nearby enemies, and then also apply a two-turn charge block to the target and nearby enemies. So a little bit going on there, um, which we'll break it apart bit by bit, but let's start with the damage component. So I compare damage dealers based on their attack power. It is a bit simpler, um, and it is also analogous to their final damage output in the end. Uh, just remove some of the variability of the damage calculation. So uh, attack power for Hairwear, it is just his attack stat, uh, 610, multiplied by the uh, percentage in his special skill, which is 165%. And we can see on the chart there, it comes out as being an attack power of 1,006, which is very low. On a per tile basis, it's only 84 attack power per tile. So very poor um, in terms of direct damage, comes in last by a fair margin, uh, from the rest of the green AoE three, three hitters. Um, you know, there are some notables on there. You've got Whack at the top of the list at 287. You've got uh, Viper against Armor at 278. Variant Hairwear is 234, which is very nice improvement. Um, Vincent in the middle of the pack at 168. And then, you know, Lana's the one that's immediately above Hairwear coming in at 129. So... His damage is somewhat improved. We can see it there when there are an excess of green tiles on the board. Uh, we can see the mid and max damage output. These are a little bit misleading because the numbers are divided by the 12 tiles when in reality we need eight additional and four additional tiles. So you could divide it by 20 and by um, 16 uh, to get a better representation. So if we did that, factored in the total tiles to charge to that uh, damage, we're talking an a a maximum damage of 96 attack power per tile and a mid damage of 91. So it's not really much of an improvement. However, this sort of skill does allow you to capitalize on boards where there is an abundance of green tiles, but it's not the sort of skill that you'd sit around and wait to generate more green tiles because you're not really gaining too much additional attack power per tile. If you happen to set off a big cascade and there were heaps of green tiles sitting there once he was charged, fire it, you're going to get more damage, but... Yeah, generally speaking, I don't like um, the damage output from these this style of hero. There's not very many heroes with this style of skill where the damage is linked to the tiles on the board, but the f few that do exist, I don't really see them ever working well as damage dealers um, for heroes. So, yeah. Moving on from the damage, uh, the next part of his skill is ultimately I'm going to compare them together or look at them together because it's two instances of charge control, which is... Very, very, very interesting. So the target and nearby enemies get silenced for two turns. Uh, silenced heroes are unable to use their special skills. And the target and nearby enemies can't gain charge for two turns as well. So I say this in so many of these review videos that charge control is one of the best effects that you can get in the game on a hero. What is extremely unique to Hairwear is that his skill actually features two different types of charge control in the one skill. You've got the silence, which prevents heroes that get to 100% charge from actually casting their skill. And you've also got a charge block, which prevent heroes from getting to 100% charge speed um, on their thing. So it kind of provides coverage, like total coverage on, on the charge control front. The, you know, the typical weakness of silences is that it only affects heroes once they're at 100% charge. It doesn't stop them getting to 100% charge. And similarly, the weakness for charge block is that when if you hit someone that's already at 100% charge, it doesn't stop them from using their skill. So the combination of charge stop and silence does provide full spectrum charge control. Um, the downside is that really both effects are only two turns in duration most charge control heroes are three turns in duration um there are a couple that are four turns but most of them are three turns so at the time of hairwares release there were some there were very limited options for charge control um lindsay and mirage were both uh heroes that did charge uh silencing uh, and they are both three turn silences and you've also got face off and ridge that have the charge stop effect and both of them are at three turn duration as well but 
In saying that, to this day, there's still no other hero that combines two different forms of charge control um, onto one skill. So it is a little bit hard to compare as to whether it should be three turns or whether it should be two turns. I personally think that given his slow charge speed or his slow base speed needing 12 tiles to charge, it would not have been unwarranted to have a three turn duration to both of these effects, particularly when you look at how poor his damage output is as well. So overall, while Hairware is very disappointing in his damage output, he has got a very, very useful and a very potent combination of charge control and charge um, blocking in the one skill. Yes, the duration of both effects is two turns each, but with some timing and targeting from a player, and of course waiting for the 11 to 12 tiles to charge in the first instance, you actually can use those two turns of effect to very great impact. Compared to the modern charge control heroes like Fiddle, uh, Emerald, and um, and that sort of thing, Hairwear is lacking. You know, those heroes do have the edge on him, but in saying that, Hairware is still a very good charge control option, particularly if you don't have many charge control options. Uh, like if you've only got like one or two heroes, Hairware is still going to be a very good option for use in wars. So very good hero still, even though he's ultimately lacking in damage and lacking in speed. You know, it's still a very, very good option. The final thing that I will address before I jump into the grading, because I know I will get asked it, is which format of hairware should I use? Should I use the variant or should I use the normal version? So without stealing the thunder too much from uh, the variant hairware review, but doing a quick comparison, we can see that the normal version does have much more defensively oriented stats. We've got much higher HP and much higher defense. So we are obviously seeing more damage output on the variant version, having the higher attack stat and the higher skill percentage. We saw that on our attack power per tile discussions earlier. But overall, I think the survival and the fact that the, the normal version has both a silence and a charge block, I'd probably take that over the damage output and secondaries from the variant form. So I would and will continue to use the regular version of hairware most of the time. I mean, I say it so often, charge control is just so good. There are some situations where I'd rather the variant version, um, like defense is one of those. Variant is probably better for defense teams than the, the normal version. Um, and then also in buff booster tournaments, the variant is going to be more effective in those tournaments than, than the regular hairware. But for the most part, I probably, I really do like the, the normal version of hairware. Uh, so yeah, for his grading, uh, we will start with the war and raid attack. So I'm going to give him a B plus for war and raid attack situations. Uh, charge control is so good. I uh, can't get much better than that on effects. Uh, so good a hero to have there. For War Machines, I'm going to give him a B grade. Uh, it does have the charge control, which is good. It is useful, but ultimately he's got a low attack stat, so he's not going to be contributing hugely in the tile damage department. On eventing, I'm going to give him a C plus. Uh, this is another situation where the variant is probably better. Uh, low damage output isn't good for event uh, competition, even though he's an AOE 3 option. In the War and Raid defenses, I'm going to give him a C plus. He does have good defensive stats, but he is quite slow. Uh, the variant bonus does go a bit towards helping that, um, both in stats and the bonus uh, speed. So possibly workable on defense, but best position I'd say would be flank uh, due to his low damage. Um, he's probably not a good or a great devastating tank option, but on flank, he could be useful with the, the charge block and the charge um, silencing. In the three tournament settings, so we've got bloody battles up front, so I'm going to give him a B grade for bloody battle attack and a C grade for bloody battle defense. On the buff boosters, uh, no buffs to speak of, so again, going to give him a B grade for attack and a C grade for defense. And then finally, in the charge tournaments, where he goes from 36 up to 65 speed, which is a massive speed improvement, it's one of the biggest you can get, I'm going to give him an A grade for attack, and I'm going to give him a B grade for his charge tournament defense. So overall, for Hairware's grading, that comes out as being an overall attack grade of a B and a C plus for his overall uh, defense grade. And that concludes the content that I have for this review of Hairware. Uh, as always, these are just my personal opinions on these heroes. I do love hearing your thoughts and feedback on them, so please do jump down to the comments section of the video and leave me a note. Uh, I do love reading your replies, and I try to read and respond as much as I can. 
If you did enjoy the video, found it to be useful, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel and all that sort of thing. But most importantly, share the video around because if this sort of thing is useful for yourself, it's also going to be useful to the people that you play with as well. Thank you once again for tuning in and joining me. I do hope that I will see you again soon in another video, perhaps in the review of the normal of the variant hairwear. But until then, good luck, stay safe, and happy gaming. Cheers. Bye.